I have been seeing these large bells online, so I was super excited to find one at a garage sale for 10 bucks. It's cast iron, but I'm not so sure if it's an antique bell. I'll have to do some research to see if it is or not. I want to use this bell as a decoration into our courtyard, but I also want it to be more than a decoration. I want it to work. So I'm gonna have to find the yoke and the clapper for it. We find one on eBay for $119, which is way more than I want to pay, but it's made out of cast iron. It's going to fit our bell. And if I don't buy it here, I don't know where else I would find it. Uh, Bryson is going to be installing it today. Oh, so this is our, our gate going to our wonderful green backyard. And mom picked up a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful bell and we are gonna hang this bell right above this door. It's not a brass or a copper or anything like that, but it's, what is it, Bryson? It's a- uh, It's a cast iron. Cast iron, yeah. It says, first of all, it's essential to notice the bell you're looking at has any casting lines. If it does, don't wait a second moving from that object since the original cast iron bells do not show a parting or a casting line as they were cast in one piece. Now let's go take a look at ours. If I tip it up. And look underneath, bam -o. there's our casting line. So this is not an old bell, but still a good bell and still a bell I'm excited about. Well, it doesn't take us long to do some research and find out that it has a seam in the bell. So that disqualifies it for being any kind of antique. But I do believe that the yoke and the clapper are antique. We've done a bunch of research on it and we can't quite identify where it might be from. I kind of want to hear it ring, don't you? Yeah, absolutely. That is awesome, isn't it? it sounds really cool. <laughs> it so does. Oh, it's going to be fun. We don't have an upright for it, so Bryson is going to need to design and figure out how he's going to do that. These two round spots where they're supposed to be hung from so that this mechanism can rotate freely. See how it runs into the bell here and here? Oh, right. So I can't just run something straight, straight up. up and down. I could come in at an angle coming up to it, to these points here, or I could build a box frame around it and come down and connect to it. What's well, gonna be cuter? I think the angle would be cuter, don't you? Okay, let's go angle then. I'm, it, I'm it, for the better looking look one. It more like roundy and not so square. Sounds and anything good. not square is cute. Good point. Bells were very popular in the 17 and 1800s, not just in America, but throughout the world. They were used primarily to communicate in all shapes and sizes. They were placed on clock towers, churches, schools, the railroad, businesses, farms, fire stations, ships, and for various household uses. Even cows often sported bells. Modern technologies, like the telephone that was invented by, ironically, Alexander Graham Bell, made these beautiful bells less needed. Well. Looks like that's got plenty of swing, plenty of room there. I'll get her when I get her welded up there and stuff, but probably will. Look who came to the bell. Oh my gosh, look at them. You guys coming to see who's the bell of the ball? <laughs> That's so funny. We could train our animals to come in for the bell. Large bells were mostly made out of cast iron, but many were also made of bronze and copper. Some bells are absolutely gorgeous, with beautiful inscriptions and designs. We are learning the importance of bells, not just for their beauty, but for the sound they emit. With our new understanding of frequencies, bells are making a comeback. The frequency of our bell rings at 282 hertz. Beautiful! We learned that you wire rush the bells down and then you oil them. Looks like a new bell 
I was dipping my rag in oil and it was hard to get in all the spots. So I just am spraying it down with canola oil. Because <laughs> look how easy it is and it gets everywhere and it's perfect. And I just wipe away the majority of it. And uh, also, you know, trying to use our chemicals in our cupboard first. <laughs> Very good. It mess. looks beautiful. I think it looks good too. Don't throw up bell. There's adjustments I have to do at the top of that. Okay. So he's got a little thing that slides in on this side and sets in over here. Awesome. Now we got to get the chain on it. So I'm going to bolt this chain in right now while we're thinking of it. Looks really good. It does. Right there? Yeah, it will. Ready? Yeah. We weren't planning on swapping the door out, but I do have a nice used sturdy door that has a cute little hummingbird design on it. And it's gonna make a great entrance door and it's gonna contrast better with that bell. So Bryson decided he would go ahead and swap the doors out. He made it look easy. Okay. I am so pleased at how the bell turned out. Bryson did a great job. The pull string on the other side hangs down far enough that the grandchildren, you know, little grandchildren will be able to pull on it and, and ring it as well. So they'll have a good time doing that. I absolutely love it. I'm grateful for Bryson installing it and making it happen. Hey, can you stop for just a second? We're trying to record here.